ないこの俺が人間なんだよオーライトそんなこの I want to go over this now I don't understand this community of the legends reddit I have not looked at the legends Facebook I have been on discord uh Twitter YouTube obviously all three of those and I understand the community at least a little bit right the discord seems most uh caught up while the Twitter slash YouTube is a little bit behind and and what I mean by that is like these people will think this team's actually one of the better ones well this team is like someone's argued with me、uh, recently like the last few minutes and I just didn't care to argue with them they were telling me、uh, Blast Future is a lot better than Strike Future and that's just ob objectively wrong like it's just not correct and I'm not gonna like whole debacle blah 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 this is why this is why it's just objectively wrong and these people think Uh, the meta doesn't change, this doesn't happen, these units don't age, these units don't do this and that and this and that, what so have you. And I'm looking at the Reddit, and this is just a cesspool.、Um, to even look at this post individually, as a warning, SAO Memory Defrag just shut down. Another 5 year mobile game just shut down. I hope developers can take Legends in the right direction. For one, Please, I beg you. I really, I really beg you. Stop comparing Dragon Ball to other games. There is no comparison you can do to Dragon Ball to another game. Let me just give you a straight up example that's、uh, right now Dragon Ball Super, the 22 movie, 2022, 2022 movie, I can't fucking speak, is going to be、uh, a trailer or something of the sort at Comic Con. In like three days. This SAO memory defrag, Sword Art Online, is not going to be at Comic Con in three days. Do you kind of get that? Oh, it's almost like Dragon Ball has a bigger IP. Fun fact someone says it down here, and I looked at it, and they're actually right. This game that shut down, in one year, Legends made more revenue than this game. Overall. Overall! And downloads. In one year, Legends did that. Legends is three years in. Legends revenue has increased. Just because people aren't playing PvP as much does not mean the revenue is going down. I know, that sounds like it should be happening, but it's not. People are collectors. Collectors will spend. Collectors won't play PvP until it fixes, or they'll play BR30.、Um, you know, LBR, well, not LBR, well, friendly matches, whatever, they'll do all these things. So comparing. <laughs> An IP that's not as popular as the most popular shonen IP in the entire world is stupid. It is ignorant and it just gives a bad name for this entire, I mean, Reddit, like subreddit. Like, I don't understand what the reasoning would be to look at this. Because I just went on this Reddit, right? I just went on it. I went on it for fucking two minutes. And there's another post here. And it's on a tier list. And it's honestly hilarious. And I just saw. Stupidity on stupidity of you don't know how the game is changing on top of you are comparing something that is not comparable. To even look at what comments are saying. Oh, let's see this. And these are best comments, right? So these are the ones people agree on. And people agree on this post, right? 100 upvotes basically. People agree on this. So please understand this. It, it's just a cesspool. There's a super decline in people playing PvP though. I suck at the game and always stop right after hitting BR50. I'm always in the top 15k. And just by hitting, hitting PR 50 right there, I usually be around 60,000 in terms of my ranking before. So you're telling me there's seasons people play less than when people play more. Really? You ever played like Apex, COD? There's seasons people will play less than seasons people will play more. The old games used to have、uh, player counts on screen when you got into the game. And guess what? The player counts would decline when it's October, November. But guess when they increase? December, January, Christmas time. You get new CC, you get more CC, you get whatever the fuck. Oh my goodness, it's almost like the player base in PvP will increase or decrease with the things that are coming out! Whoa! Again, stupidity at its finest. But hey, this guy hit BR50. 
and now he's rank 15k i don't know what that even fucking means to me what does that mean not much i don't even understand why people are even oh I'm, like it doesn't it's stupid it's the stupidest fucking thing let's keep going let's just keep go i just i just love reading stupidity you gotta keep in mind the Dragon Ball fandom outnumbers almost if not every other fandom. So there's a bigger population than that SAO game. I don't think this game would have half as many players if it wasn't Dragon Ball oriented. You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean. And I agree. Thank you. Thank you for pointing out that this game has the most popular IP in Shonen history behind it. I'm glad someone pointed this out. Thank you. I appreciate you. Let's see if anyone's saying dumb shit below it though. Uh, margin error, but never try my film. I'm not reading a whole essay. I'm sorry. Wait, if same thing happened to let to DBL, do you think they will give the offline version? This, this is what I'm talking about, right? There is no mobile game that is actually active still to where you can keep the app and still log in to check your little account. Firstly, who the fuck cares? The game shut down. If Legend shut down tomorrow, which it won't, but oh, if it did, guess what? Who the fuck cares about your account? It's gone. It's not owned by you. It's owned by the company. Bandai, you don't own your account. They own your account. You have access to your account. You have the access to get on it. You don't own your account. It's not like your Xbox. You own your Xbox account or your console, rather. You don't own your Xbox account. You own the Xbox. You can make new accounts, but you own the Xbox, not the account. The account is under Microsoft. The account is under Bandai here. See what I mean? Stupidity. Stupidity. You should know this. Because why would you... This isn't your game. It is a game you play. It is not based off your own cellular device that you're playing on. Again, makes no sense. Okay, this seems uh, coherent. Let's see. I don't really get what this is supposed to mean. This game has had very stable revenue according to Sense Sensor Tower, yeah. Uh, has been in top 50 grossing games forever. Everyone keeps mentioning that the game is dying, yet the revenue still has been around 8 million for usual months and higher for hype characters or celebrations. As long as the revenue does not dip, there's no reason to believe that anything will happen to this game. And then below him. Bro, have you seen PvP? It is a barren wasteland. People are losing interest in the game. Even to mention one more topic, just to why PvP could be uh, more dead. You know people who go to school, right? You know people that play this game probably are in school. If not middle school, high school, college, right? Most of them. Like, the people that watch me. Most of you guys are uh, high school to college. You're in school. You're doing class. You don't care to play PvP when there's class. A whole pandemic happened to where you were home able to play PvP for almost two years, a year and a half, and you couldn't go outside, or you weren't supposed to go outside at least. And now people are like, the player base is declined. We went from being forced to stay at home for at least a year for everyone, to school is starting that is also in person. Thank you, Sherlock. Thank you, Chris P. Salad, for telling me the player base is declining because school has started, the pandemic is not as bad, given some countries actually is worse, as it was when it started, and now people are getting back to society. I appreciate you, Chris P. Salad. I did not know when a pandemic ended, or started to end, that uh, the player base for a mobile game that you have to play with focus, and usually at home, would go down. I didn't know. I love this guy. Chris P. Salad, man. This guy. This guy fucks. This guy fucks the world. He knows everything. I love this guy. I love that guy. Then, i just read one more here, just to prove my point. And then you realize that Legends in one year eclipsed the amount of downloads and revenue made by SAO, Memory Defrag, and that the Dragon Ball fanbase is much bigger. This game isn't going anywhere with the money it pulls in. Oh, hold on, let me just read this one, because this one looks funny. Everyone is missing the point, lol. This game is going in a bad direction and numbers are declining. Don't know why everyone is being so defensive and thinking... He's talking about Legends shutting down. As a warning, and he posted it on the Legends community. Defensive. But he posted, this is alluding to the idea 
that Legends would be shutting down. So, people are defending it because he's alluding to, Hey, Legends, this game shut down. It made less money than you in fucking one year. This game shut down. You gotta fix your stuff, Legends. He's alluding to that. So, yes, people are defending the point because he is alluding to Legends shutting down because a game that is five years long that made no fucking money, clearly, shut down. That's why he's defending it. Isn't that common sense? If someone's arguing this side and you disagree, you argue the other side to defend your point? Again, this community is genuinely hilarious with how incompetent they think because... I <laughs> and to even say, look, I, I am not the legend shill that you guys hope I could be, right? Or maybe you guys don't like legend shills. I don't know. But Legends is actually going in a right manner. The whole idea, the whole complaint I even had about Legends is two things. Making old units too good to where they're meta and old units should not be number one in the game. And then two making LFs not really cared for, right? We had an LF Rosé, people didn't really care for him. Future Gohan on release, people really didn't care for him. Now, they are fixing that. It's good. This is a good direction. Now, with Ultras, I think they're making mistakes giving free-to-play Ultras get, uh, not that great for teams, uh, limited, and just not that good. Uh, free-to-play Ultras, not that good. Hopefully, some Ultras actually are good, kind of like LFs are now. But, the game's direction is actually on a very high up. A lot of people aren't playing because it hasn't hit that ceiling yet. But Legends is going from kind of like here, when FSK and all of them release, to a little bit more down, like that. And then a little bit inclined, kind of like here, right now. Because Zenkai's aren't broken. I've discussed this so many times. Zenkai's aren't number one options, right? They aren't. You have old ones, some of them are, and respectfully, I know people are going to fucking shit on me for this, FSK is not as busted as when FSK released. It's called Power Creep. It happens. Every unit in the game will experience Power Creep, right? Yes, his teams are crazy. Or, hybrids is crazy. Yes, his equips are crazy. Um, but he is now more or less reliant on allies to be crazy. FSK, on initial release, didn't give a fuck about who was with them. You could run them with a fucking... Uh, Hero Shallot, he'd be perfectly fine, right? Nowadays, he is being power creeped. Red Gogeta, he's only optimal on Super Saiyan. Sure, run him on Saiyans. Waste your red slot. Instead of Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, waste your red slot on Red Gogeta. For sure, go for it. You'll lose the match. Good for you. Bardock, aging. Now, is he aging? Or is the uh, Super Saiyans Zenkai's with him aging? Or the Super Saiyans in general just getting debuffed? Kind of all three, but Bardock is also aging. Uh, his damage himself is never going to be that outstanding, and thankfully so, because he doesn't deserve it, because he makes such a broken fucking team if he just has some broken units. With Red Gogeta aging, with Bardock aging, with FSK aging, with Purple Super Saiyan Goku aging, with Android 18, very aged at this point. Android 18 is worse than Terminator Power 17. That's not a debate, by the way. I know people are trying to debate that. Android 17 has... 30 times more utility, can pick his rush target by popping a green card. I can pish, pish, yeah, pish, pick my rush target when I click green. And he has Super 17 so to supply him greens because when the enemy switches, he draws a green. And people still say Android 18 is broken. Yeah, okay, Android 18 is broken. Android 18 is as broken as fucking... Kaba at this point, like not broken, just, just use a brain. Just use, there's so many good reds too. Like ah, even this post though. Oh, there's more. There, there's another one, and it's not even about this list in particular. It's about what people are saying under it, which I just again, I don't think this uh, community really understands units. And I mean that's cool and all but when you make let's say an opinion based list and people are shitting on you for the wrong reason i feel the need to where i should at least try to defend the guy and if i could fucking find this tier list there it is uh i will so this guy made a tier list feel like getting bullied so here's an ll tier list feel free to flame downvote and criticize me so 
Firstly, I don't agree with the tier list. Um, there's obviously some things I just think are a little bit too low, a little bit too high, but I'm not here to critique his tier list. I'm here to critique the people in the comments. <sighs> this comment. Okay, so let's look at UI, right? UI is bottom of A tier. I think he's around that area. For sure, I agree with that. UI being that low is a skill issue, and there is no excuse for him being that low unless you have no clue what you're doing. Where's Rosé? I'm curious. Rosé's actually in a decent spot. He could be a little bit higher, actually. Rosé is probably... Uh, in this list, I'd say... Um, Gogeta and Rosé could probably swap on this list. But that's ne neither here nor there. UI Goku being that low is a skill issue. Okay. So. It's just painful to see that people actually think that, like, this... Like, this, what he's saying right now, is, like, correct. Because this isn't just, like, his opinion. He's stating it as, like, it's a fact. It's a skill issue if you think UI is that low. That means UI is really good, right? UI Goku is the squishiest unit in the game. Besides support units. Right, just understand that. His damage inflicted will never be crazy unless you pop a green card beforehand. And... His green card is a long animation green card. Given it heals, gets card drops, be damage afflicted, all these crazy things, it's a long animation. You backdash, you get out of it, you get a free combo. And guess what? Again, he's squishy. UI Goku is not good. UI Goku, fun fact, is the worst aging non-LF Zenkai in the entire game. Yes, you can argue. Super Saiyan for Goku. He is so bad, so bad, so bad. Yes, argue that, for sure! But he's not. Super Saiyan 4 Goku is Majin Vegeta, but worse. UI Goku is shit, but worse. If you were to pick between any three God Key unit, Rose, UI, or Purple Vegeta Blue, UI is your last option and your last pick. You don't pick UI. He is not good. He does nothing that makes him crazy. If you think... UI being low is a skill issue, then buddy, Mr. Uh, PVT underscore Boomer, okay, makes sense, uh, I think you have the skill issue, because UI Goku is not good, he's not good, he's not useful, you don't run him anywhere, you know why, because he's not good, but don't worry, there's more, there's more, the third AC with the uh, four C's there, do you even play the game? UI all the way down there. I love UI. He is one of my favorite people to use. My guess is that he is down there because people say he has shit defense. Yeah, it's flawed logic. They can say what they want, but he's still a meta-relevant unit! I get that his defense isn't great, but if you put him on the right team and have good enough equips to... He, he take a decent amount of damage. I've had him survive lengthy combos before. UI is worse though. Less damage cut and less defense than Zamasu. If I'm not mistaken, and Zamasu has much easier ways of restoring HP. Yeah, but UI has the unique gauge for defense. <laughs> the people that say that have a huge skill issue, and go ahead and downvote me. It's the truth. Do you know how to play the game? I know for a fact you didn't just put UI under LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I'm gonna just say, you know, he keeps saying A tier isn't ordered. I, I hope A tier is ordered because my brain's hurting. My brain's hurting looking at this. But this is the Reddit. This is it. These are the hot posts. These are the posts you see when you first join and you first go on it. And this is what I see. I don't get it. Namaku is probs too low, and you're definitely underrating UI Goku. Ro is greater than Gogeta 4. I agree with that. Namek Goku in Z, and UI in the tier above where he is. <sighs> I can't believe Again, the tier list isn't even bad. Like, this is one of the better Reddit tier lists, but these comments, man. UI that... 
low and Evo Vegeta that high. What's Evolution Blue Vegeta at? That's lower than I'd rate Evolution Blue Vegeta. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> oh, man. I, I... Good. I like this comment. UI is not good. I agree. He had a downvote there. I don't know why. Man. <laughs> it is actually hilarious, though. People just don't. And look, it's fine to have your opinions, right? Like, you can have your opinion on, you know, where you think a character is and all this. But when you claim it as, like, fact and truth, you're just being ignorant, right? It's a fact that UI Goku's squishy. It's a fact UI Goku is not your main purple on any team that he is runnable on. It's a fact you don't run UI Goku over Purple Vegeta Blue or LF Rosé. There is no benefit... In any slight scenario, to where you would do that. It is a fact. But when you claim ignorance, like, He's so underrated, give him this equip, and he'll be able to take a combo. Why would I give my blast-based unit defense equips? Enlighten me. Enlighten me. Should I give my Android 18 blast equips? So I get her blast damage up? Right? Right? My, um... Uh... I don't even fucking know. My great Vegeta, my Nappa, should I give him blast equips to get his blast damage up? Because he's a strike unit, so I want to get a neutral there, right? Like, come on. That's what they're acting like. It doesn't make sense. <sighs> Ouch, this list. Oh my god, okay. I'll just read, like, a few more. Because I, I, I just want to get the point across that this... Don't go here. Just, just don't go here. I hope Facebook is better than this, because I've seen some shit on Facebook where they're just the stupidest motherfuckers, but... This Reddit, please, just avoid it. It's, holy shit, <laughs> holy shit. It's more just the comments. Some posts are actually decent, just the comments. We saw a bad post, we're seeing bad comments here, right? I would, however, place UI at least S rank. I think he's great. Never had issues with him, except sometimes he can be a little squishy. Not too squishy, but still squishy. LOL. I feel like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta could be maybe SS rank. I see Frieza is in that tier, not the Zenkai one. I don't think that Frieza is good enough to be SS rank, but that's just me. Sadly, I can't comment uh, on Z because I only have the Gohan and he's like four stars. <sighs> he said it. Full power Frieza should be with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or where uh, full power Frieza is. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta should be SS. So let me just break this down for you once again because i feel like these is just maybe people from the reddit will watch this right so like breaking this down because it could help some guys maybe it could hurt some guys feelings but it'll help you when you have knowledge of the game and trust me i've played this dumbass game enough to have enough knowledge gt is worse than frieza force full power frieza is good on frieza force full power frieza if you have the uh right stars is great on powerful opponent GT is objectively worse, not opinionated, objectively worse than Frieza Force. You run this full power Frieza, LF Frieza Zenkai, and create a Vegeta or Nappa. Doesn't really matter who. That team steamrolls GT. You look at Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He is replaced. A 14 star Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is worse. Then a 14 star Zenkai 7, 1400%, Super 17. This is not me making this up. This is me being straight factual with you. So no, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta should not be in SS tier instead of Frieza. Just because, and I know this is why, this person probably did not see a lot of full power Frieza gameplay. Because not a lot of people pulled for full power Frieza. You know, I made a video when the Anniversary Banners dropped, and this was before uh, Revival Gohan's Banner dropped, right? This was when Gogeta and Zamasu's Banner dropped, and it was like a week later. I made a video. Skip this Anniversary. These units aren't worth summoning for. And I still agree with that. Who's the only unit that you could actually run nowadays? You're not running Red Kefla. You're not running Super Saiyan for Gogeta. You're not running Ice or Nova. You're not running Purple Vegeta Blue. 
Zamasu, the only one of the five Sparkings, the only one, and it's a 6-1, that is runnable. And even him, you don't need to run. You have other units. Every other unit that I named off is replaced. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, replace. Ice, replace. Nova, replace. I'll even name the replacements for you, because just in case you guys don't know, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta replaced by Super 17. Ice, replaced by Super Saiyan 3 GT Kigoku. Majub replaces Nova. Red Kefla, Red Gogeta replaces him. Um, you don't run him any other team, because why would you? Bergamo is better than Red Kefla, fun fact. Bergamo's a year old, so that's nice, right? And then, Purple of Gito Blue, Gaki doesn't need a purple on their main core, because he does not flow with the team. Even if his green card, like, um, you know, comboed that Purple of Gito Blue, he'd still not make the team. Just doesn't run together. You don't need him. He has baby support, mediocre support, and does mediocre damage until uh, later in the fight, which later in the fight doesn't come quick enough. Even him at 14 stars, I laugh at him because how mediocre he is. Zamasu, the only runnable one on God Key. Uh, regen, he's more runnable, but God Key, if you want to run him there, he's usable. Holy shit, how much I agree with that video. And people even, you know, comment on uh, that video now, like, oh my god, he was actually right. And, you know, it has fucking dislikes to shit, because like, people are like, why the fuck would I skip the anniversary banner? The same reason I stayed in the video is Zenkai's are better. Zenkai's are better. And it's still true. Red Gogeta replacing Red Kefla still better. GT wasn't a fully functional team with Ice and Nova. It was still dog shit. The other two units that came, the All-Star banner, replaced them. Purple Vegeta Blue, you have no need for him. You have Super Saiyan Blue Goku Zenkai that can carry you through the way. Even... He might be a little overrated, but he's still very good. None of these units. None of these units. Super 17 replacing the main headliner. The main literal image of the anniversary. But he should be SS tier, okay. <sighs> Let me know what you guys think of uh, this subreddit. If you guys have been on it, what is your opinion? What is the best take you've seen from it? What is the worst take you've seen? And no, I'm not trying to... Uh, flame the entire thing i'm just trying to give you guys a picture of what it's like if you go on this it's free content for me personally i love free content you know looking at stupidity and just proving it wrong is, is great I, I do love that but man um i don't want to fully dissuade but i do want to caution i think this video is more meant to caution you this whole group uh, these People here that, you know, are doing these uh, posts and some of these comments, they don't really know what's going on in the game. Uh, if you want to look at someone that knows what they're talking about in the game, there's tons of other sources on different medias, and this media definitely is not that. Uh, you should see the posts under, like the comments under the game press tier list when they post it here. Like, they'll be like, oh my god, Yellow Broly, tier one? Huh? I use my yellow Broly every day. 14 stars at battle rank 42, and he does so well. That's the type of post that go here. Type of comments. Ignorance, stupidity, and where you think you actually are talking about something that's uh, correct, and you're just flat out wrong because you have so little experience, or you just you just don't know what's going on. What do you guys think? Uh, this is just more a warning, caution, I don't know, type video. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.